Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another electronics and parts goodies mailbag. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCB Way. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. Welcome back guys, I hope you're doing great out there. I hope everyone's coping with the, uh, the COVID-19 crisis uh, well. I hope you and your families are safe. A little bit of a somber time in the world, but I've got more and more goodies arriving by the minute. So let's take a look at some of them. Okay, these parts I need, so I need to do a little bit of a separate mailbag for them because I just want to get them into an airplane. So. First out of the bag is a, a, a pedo speed, a pedo static or pedo airspeed sensor. Jeez, I can't talk today. Uh, this is just an air pressure sensor. It measures how fast the air is flowing over the aircraft, which tells us how fast the air is flowing over the wings, which is really handy because GPS speed does not help you keep your plane in the air, especially if you. Uh, make a turn on a, a downwind turn and you end up stalling the plane out of the sky ask me how i know uh, gps sensor these are a wonderful little sensor you that i use on my inav aircraft okay this is what i needed this is the matek uh, f411 wing this is a, a flight controller system um, for small winged aircraft um, really quite small compared to the uh, the previous one you saw in my nano talent so we're going to put this into an air, that air wing that i showed on a previous mailbag as well in here we got a run cam this is the run cam split 3 micro all this stuff came from get fpv uh, i found them to be fantastic wonderful company to deal with um, i've had no issues so this is uh, an fpv camera but also a uh, oof, that is ugly Oh, wow, <laughs> that cabling is so ugly. Oh, man, oh, man. Seriously? That's what they consider okay? What the... Ugh, run cam. Oh. Anyway, this allows us to record HD footage on board uh, instead of flying with a GoPro or whatever we can fly through this this is our FPV camera and record the HD footage on board which will be pretty handy so this is small enough to fit um, I think I actually might use it in the Nano Talon I'm not sure I don't think I'll put this in the uh, in the wing um, I think I may put it into the Black Ops Nano Talon but eh, we'll see uh, I already had it out of the package because I need some measurements off it. I got myself a nifty little, I believe this is NEMA 17 stepper motor. Um, this is going to become the steering mechanism for my Mars Rover. Yes, that project is still ongoing. Now that I have a laser cutter, I want to laser out a mount uh, on the front of that Rover for this to operate the steering. It's going to be like an RC car steering. Uh, unfortunately, instead of four wheel drive, we're going to do two wheel drive with steerable front wheels. This will handle. One other one I already had out. This oof, is too big for the frame. This is uh, a Bomex, just um, a, a Erlenmeyer style flask. Um, I needed I needed a larger one than what I've ever had before. This is half a liter, 500 milliliters, and it should be just perfect for what I have in mind. This will go, uh, if you haven't already seen it on my Instagram, I made a nifty little shaker table from Adafruit, and this should fit on there, and I can use this to agitate liquids uh, without me having to sit there and shake it. Okay, next up we have... What do we have? I actually don't even know what this is. There's two of them. Ah, I recognize it now. This is a cool little motor controller circuit. And what I think that probably is down there is probably a 555 timer. 
and we're going to use this to control uh, a motor output. We have um, a pot on here with an off switch. It comes with another switch, which is kind of neat. I'll put an overlay on the screen of this from the eBay seller that I got it from. Two position switch and, oh yeah, an awesome little knob. That is a cool little rig. Big heat sink, very, very cool. Neat little rig. Next up, more packaged goodies. This is for, well, I don't have a, pros a project in mind, but this is for a potential future project, a radio project. This is universal low noise amplifiers. These, uh, I forget the swath of frequencies, I should be able to put that on the screen, hopefully. And it covers a, a pretty broad range, and with, uh, I believe it's DC 5 volt in, uh, will boost your signal level significantly. Now, these, you can't expect the world. These are not a very, very expensive unit, but uh, we'll give them a go. It, uh, what the heck, it should work good. Uh, most often used with satellite signal receiving where you need to boost it. Uh, my sawbird that I got for the GOES weather satellite receiving that I still have to build, but I'm sidetracked making, uh, <laughs> making COVID-19 masks right now. When I get that done, the sawbird filter has one built in and I USB power it. Okay, what else we got? Whole bunch of nifty little electronics packages. These look to be ESP8266s. And I have a buttload of them. I really don't need more, but we got more. This is the Wemos D1 Mini. Uh, it is not the D1 Mini Pro. It doesn't have the external antenna, which I actually have a video upcoming on soon on the channel, but this is just the standard D1 Mini. Wonderful little uh, ESP8266 based microcontroller, 3.3 volt logic level, just fantastic little units. Little bit of IO, USB powered, voltage regulator on board, USB to serial on board. That's a CH340 on there by the looks of it. Um, yep, CH340G, wonderful chipset, love them, fantastic. Ah very cool. These are for some more lab experiments as well. Also, super handy for surface mount component storage and stuff. These are nifty little uh, two, or these 1.5 1, 1 milliliter. And uh, they fit into a centrifuge. Uh, they fit into anything you want to 3D print to hold them. And uh, you can also put your surface mount parts or whatever components you want in there. Really, really neat. So, got a whole bag of them. Next up, out of the package, we have a metric screw assortment. These are little tiny guys. These are M2 through M3, it looks like. Um, these are pan, they're countersunk heads, so very, very cool for small projects. Little too late, I needed these for the Adafruit um, shaker table, actually, but uh, I've already sorted that out. But handy little uh, assortment. I'll put those to work. More lab equipment. Test tubes, whole packages of them. These are super, super handy. It's amazing how much I use them. I have some larger ones um, over on the shelf, uh, twice the size of these, but they have a screw top on them. These are the rounded bottom ones. I like the square bottom ones better because they'll stand on the bench, but whenever you need to, like, if you need a place to put a bunch of screws or the larger ones I used recently um, to take a, some of my sourdough yeast starter over to my parents' place and, and I was able to give my dad a, a, a sample of my sourdough yeast that's growing. Wonderful things to have around. They're cheap, uh, effective, and you can do some cool lab stuff with them. Okay, this one's a bigger one. No idea what's in here. Big package. Ha 
more hardware. Fantastic. Oh, what a mess. Fudge. Okay, so the, see the top is bowed on this. It's all of the hardware has moved in between the different oh, rig. What? Anyway, this was M2 M4, to M4. Uh, 1080 pieces of freaking mess right now. They're all down in this bottom row and what a mm, That's frustrating. Anyway, whole bunch of metric bolts Okay, more this one should be a little bit more fun This is a DC electronic load. This looks a lot like the little um, voltage regulator modules because well it basically is except I think they've slapped a big power resistor on it here probably and actually, where is the power resistor? I'm going to pull it apart. Maybe do that in another video. Um, power in, power out, uh, not much to it. L positive, L negative, V positive, a V negative, and we can control uh, the load across um, whatever we want. If we want to just draw down a battery or whatever, uh, I think we can set different limits and stuff in here. Um, the model number is XYFZ35. I'll put an overlay and of course it'll be linked down below. But I think we can set a threshold, both current or voltage, or maybe even both, whereby we can uh, we could use this as a battery discharger or whatever. But I don't have an adjustable load uh, on my bench and I've needed one numerous times. Not critically, I always get by. This is a lot easier because we can just dial it in and be a little bit more precise than whacking resistors onto things. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys uh, find some of these parts interesting. I know I do. I'd like to get this out. Um, we also have still smoke testing, uh, changing some code on the Urban Kitchen Garden project over there and doing a little bit of work on it. And I was actually just doing some scoping on and off um, just for fun, just to... Uh, Ah, just a snoop <laughs> and re-familiarize myself with some hardware hacking. So pretty fun stuff. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed these videos. See you next video.